undisclosed location under a farm pond somewhere in the Midwest. Your host is Jim Crowley. This is Slickfish Radio. And we are back at it again. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of uh, Slickfish Radio. Uh, so happy to be back here again. We got a fun show tonight. This is going to be a good time. We are going to be uh, get right to it and just talk to you, talking with my buddy Jose Cinco from Cast King. We've got a really cool giveaway. Matter of fact, the giveaway has been upgraded. So uh, you guys will find out about that in a little bit. Uh, going to be exciting. Hey, I uh, just wanted to tell anybody who was there in Milwaukee last week at the All Canada Show, at the Brookfield Conference Center, thank you so much. What an awesome, <laughs> what an awesome crowd and what an awesome time. Uh, thank you for showing up. Man, we talked, we talked smallmouth, we talked baitcasting 101. So many of you really like that Mega Jaws Elite baitcast reel with the automagnetic braking system that I showed you. We had fun with that crowd. All of you were pointing at your buddies, giving each other a hard time about who can throw a baitcaster. But we had a really, really good time at the show. So I'm really, really I'm thrilled that all of you showed up in full force. This week, we're going to be in Green Bay. So I will be in Green Bay with the All Canada Show at the All Nighter Conference uh, Center right there, the the casino. It's awesome, awesome venue for a show, and I'm going to be there with the All Canada Show Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with two seminars each day, uh, and it's it's going to be jam packed. I know there's almost 80 lodges and outfitters that are going to be at that show. So if you're in the Green Bay area, please please stop by, and you're interested in going to Canada, go to the show. Uh, I've got a bunch of interviews coming up on stations there. I know I'm going to be anybody from Wisconsin. You've heard a Shotgun and Charlie show. I'm going to be on that uh, sometime on Friday. And then we're going to be on Fox again for TV interviews and a bunch of other stuff when we're in Green Bay. So we are really, really looking forward to it. Uh, my first two seminars are tomorrow night, I think, like at four and eight o'clock or something like that. Anyway, going to be a great time. Looking forward to being back in Wisconsin again, especially being back in Green Bay. I love being there. Um, before we get started tonight, I want to thank our friends from Shields. Their Fish Fest is coming up. Looking forward to that. That will be in March. So as we get closer to that, I'll tell you more about that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Got a lot of new stuff coming from Lure Parts Online. You're going to see a new video going out there. I think next, I think one just went out this week on building bladed jigs that I did. Uh, so that that's a really good one. We got another one going out next week on building spinner baits. So if you haven't been to our YouTube page yet, check out Jim Crowley Outdoors on YouTube because we are going to be uh, doing a lot more videos, rod builds, everything else. We're doing all that on the YouTube page and updating that. So you'll see that. Also, we are now on TikTok as well as Instagram and, of course, Facebook. So all the social media out there, it's easy to find. Just look for Jim Crowley Outdoors, and you'll find that there. Also, our friends from Casking, we're going to be talking with Jose here in just a little bit. A lot of new things from them. We're going to be talking about bait finesse systems tonight, or BFS, uh, and get into that a little bit more. It's so much fun. Those reels are so strong, so lightweight. Got some really big fish on them, too. But we're going to get into the details with Jose about how light of lures that baitcaster can throw. And I'm also going to be showing you uh, the Kestrel 1000 spinning reel, which I used quite a bit last year. Absolutely incredible little powerhouse of a reel. Uh, my beautiful wife, Rhonda, just chimed in from upstairs. Now I know where you're at. Good. <laughs> Glad she's here. Uh, Tony Lamarcke came in. Hey, Jim, how you doing, Tony? Glad to have you here. Uh, also, our friends from Mud Hole. Hey, I've got a new, there's going to be a new video airing tomorrow night on YouTube, and it's the first of a two-part section where I'm doing a rod build, and we're going to be building a casting rod tomorrow night. I'm going to show you everything, how to pick out the spine on the rod, how to mark for uh, the guides. We're going to install the grips, the handle assembly, and the reel seat tomorrow night. We're going to show you how actually pretty simple that is and how Mud Hole is your best one-stop shop for everything when it comes to education on rod building and instruction. Really cool, though. It's a really cool rod that I'm building. So tune in tomorrow night. I think that goes live at 6 o'clock. Just uh, follow us on YouTube or just sign up there, uh, Jim Crowley Outdoors on YouTube. 
and you will see the video. I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. I get everything quick to the point. We show you how simple it is and hopefully give you some ideas where you're not gluing yourself to everything like I did when I first started. So we're going to try to keep the glue free and show you how fun it is to build your own fishing rods. We're also powered uh, by our friends at Dakota Lithium 11 year warranty. This is my third year running Dakota Lithiums. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, hey, Byron. Hey, Jim. Good to see you again. Heck, heck of a hell of a show in Milwaukee and great seminars. Robbie, thank you, man. That's very nice of you to take your time on and come on and tell me that. I'll tell you what, I had a blast with you guys in Milwaukee. I love Wisconsin. I love it. And we're going to be up there filming some shows this year. And I'll be back in Green Bay, as I said later this week. But thank you, Robbie. I really appreciate that. Hey, so without further ado, I'm going to bring in this guy. I got to bring in this guy. He's our guest, Jose Cinco. What's up, brother? How are you? What's going on, Jim? Thanks for having me on the show. I really, really, really appreciate it. And you know, you, you do so much for the fishing industry, doing all these shows and seminars. Obviously, you're getting testimony from everyone that you've encountered at your shows. And uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to come on to your show. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, but dude, you are uh, not only have we become friends over over the years and working together at Cast King, but you are a monster on social media, dude. I'll tell you what, you owe me at least three or four cups of coffee, my friend, because I had them spitting coming out my nose. And I, I love the stuff that you put out there. You, you get to right to the point on some of the stuff. And some of the stuff is just flat out funny. It's stuff we all see. But you have a really, really good way of uh, putting it into you just have a warped mind like I do. And I think that's why I love you so much, uh, <laughs> just because we both look at the funny side of life and we're able to portray that. We got more people coming on here. I got to say hi to Donald Haas. Hi, Donald. Good to see you. Um, good, Gary. Oh, hi. hi. Not, hey, and look, he's even got the cast yeah, game logo. On. This guy came ready to play. There. He came ready to play. So, um, yeah, but. Um, you have a lot of fun on Instagram, and I see you're on TikTok, too, now, as well as I am. And used for the right reason, social media can be a lot of fun in that regard, can it? It absolutely can. And, you know, whether people don't like it or not, it's a big part of the fishing industry. It's a part yeah. of getting yourself out there, building your own brand, or it's a part of, or, or, you know, like a lot of stuff that you do is the supporters and brands that you work with, it's showing your worth and showing what you're able to do. And I appreciate you getting my sense of humor. It can be a little harsh at times, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I take things that we're kind of thinking and nobody wants to say, but, you know, and, and gear it towards the fishing industry. And at the same time, being myself, you know, that's the big thing. Be yourself on online and, you know, things will always take off well. Well, you know, I always said that, uh, or I've said to people before, when, when people meet me, and I know they've done the same to you, because I've seen it at ICAST when people come up to you, and they'll just go, well, you're kind of like the same that you are. Yeah, we're we're no different than, we, we're, we're the same on social media. We both enjoy what we get to do. We have jobs to do. Uh, not only are we anglers, but we're creators as well. But it's our job to try to get the message out there, sometimes funny, sometimes just to the point that we're just trying to show, I've always said this, I, I'm, I've never said that I'm the best at any of this, but I enjoy all of it. And all this is, is, is my take on trying to hopefully help somebody out. You know, if I can help one person out at the end of the day, or they go, you know, maybe I never really thought about that. Maybe I should, I should try that. And that's a cool thing about being part of the Cast King family. There are so many things, not only just social media, but so many things that Cast King has gotten into and keep excelling at and it's wonderful to see. I was actually out to lunch with a couple guys today uh, that are actually coming up to the Chicago show. And we were talking about casking. And one of this is the honest truth. Dan, Dan, if you're listening tonight, he'll chime in probably a little later. But Dan said, you know, he goes, look, going online and seeing the reviews from casking. He said they are astounding. He said, and that is probably he goes, because he goes, I'm starting to look into some other reels. And I, I've had them over at the house building rods and showing them how to build lures. But they go, the, the, they go, it's obviously they go, because he's been looking through all the reviews and they're coming from all over the place. And the reviews are saying just what you and I said a couple years ago, is that we are building this to excel to the next level. Casking just, just, just what doesn't want to be casking. They want to be at the top of the game. And our customers, the quality of our products and our customers are taking us there. Do you agree with that? A hundred percent. You know, a lot of times you see these companies as they grow and Cas King is growing. But at the same time, we pay attention to 
our consumer base. And if they want a certain thing or they want great customer service, we're going to give that to them. And we don't forget where we where we came from. Of course, we started off online straight straight to the consumer. But as we make these moves into retail and become a major player in the fishing industry, we are going to maintain our core values. Because as you know, the industry is changing, mm -hmm. changing pretty crazy. You know, a lot of guys that are on the outside, they don't see everything that's going on. But things are getting pretty nuts right now. But Cast King will continue to push, continue to innovate and continue to, uh, you know, do what brought us forward, uh, brought us to the forefront in the beginning, and that's create great products and affordable price. Yeah, no question about it. Robbie came back on and he said, your passion shows on your presentations. Picked up the Mega Jaws 2500 and look forward to using with my new Kramer rod that I picked up at the show. Well, you did some shopping there, Robbie, and you picked out two really good things right there. Eric Kramer does a great job on his rods and you're going to love that Mega Jaws, dude. I am telling you, you're absolutely going to love it. So thank you for that. Uh, j Beb just came on from Missouri. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Ah, Len is on here. I need to get a Kestrel 1000 spinning reel. Hey, Len, you mean this one? Right here? This one right here? Yeah. That I'm telling you, dude, I've got two of them. We'll talk about that um, in, a, in a little bit. Um, and and both, both Jose and I can tell you the experience we've had with both those reels. We're going to give you some stats and everything in a little bit right here just because there's so much – there, there's so much quality that is put into this stuff. You know, I remember when I was talking to Al at ICAST last year and we were talking about, you know, one of the ways that Casking is able to save so much money uh, and, you know, the, our, our prices are a lot more affordable for most people because there's not a whole lot of shipping going back and forth, going to send the reel here, send the reel there. We have a design team where the factory is. There's another factory being built over there. And when the guys come up with an idea, they build it, it gets sent and you don't have this. That's why e-commerce was such a great way for Casking to get into the market. And now you see stores everywhere wanting to pick up casting they know what our customers know is that this is quality and and i know you're seeing that as well so not only is it quality but it's also innovative right mm -hmm. so a lot of people a lot of these industries there's there's these big companies that are just buying everyone out you know i don't want to call these companies out by names but a lot of them are being bought out and so it's all under the same umbrella but when you think about legit rod and reel companies that have their own factory you're really only thinking about Shimano and Daiwa. Other than that, everything pretty much comes from the same three, four factories throughout the world. Well, Cast King has our own factory. We make everything. So that's why you're going to see the Mega Jaws Elite, the Kestrel Elite BFS, and it's not like anything else on the market. You're not going to see, oh, well, you know, uh, Company X has that. It's just a different color. They stamp their logo on it. No, the technology that goes into it from our AMD brakes to our fly out arc finesse on our BFS reels. That is our proprietary technology. You won't see that anywhere else in the industry. You know, I was I was showing off the uh, the Mega Jaws Elite Bay Casting reel, which which I think in the lineup, and there's so many different reels in the lineup, but I think that's one reel that you can rely on all the time with with the seven five to one gear, gear ratio that is so good for so many different things. So I was actually doing a bay casting seminar with that one because it has the auto adjustment magnetic braking system in there. And for those who don't know what that is, the brakes literally as the spool slows down, the magnets. Uh, spread out and they slow the speed down, the speed down of the spool. Now, do you have to adjust it a little bit? Sure. And I will always tell people you're better learning how to throw a baycaster correctly than just using a machine to do it. What that adds is, is that automagnetic braking system adds in your learning process. It makes things easier with less backlashes and you can really concentrate on getting the technique down instead of worrying about making a far cast. That's a wrong way to do with a baycaster. When you can just concentrate on getting the technique down and that automatic I, excuse me, automagnetic braking system really allows you to do that. And we've got that in a couple of reels, but on that Mega Jaws Elite, that's been a top seller for us, hasn't it? That Mega Jaws Elite is an absolute tank and a top seller. Yep. And legitimately, if someone says, Jose, you, you convinced me, I, I want to give Cast King a shot because a lot of people do kind of look at our 30, 40, $50 reels, which we still do have, whether you have 50 bucks, 60, 70, we have a reel for you. But if someone says, Jose, I'm a, I'm a tournament angler or I'm a hardcore guy and I want to really give casting a shot. And that's when I put the Mega Jaws Elite in their hands. Yep. And they are absolutely blown away from, like you said, the AMD braking system. That is phenomenal. 
uh, to just the flipping switch on it. That's old school technology. Mm -hmm. and the, das uh, the casting distance that you get out of our low tapered vortex uh, line guide, it is an absolute monster of a reel. And at 129, there's, there's nothing touching it, especially since it, it comes in three different uh, variations. You're nine to one, you're seven to four, and the yep. shallow spool that is a seven to four, that's better for your throwing uh, your weightless flukes, wacky rig senkos, Perfect. stuff like that. Uh, it, it's just, it's such an amazing lineup and it's still my favorite. I have access to all, every <laughs> single reel, but if you want to say the two that I use constantly, it's the Mega Jaws Elite and the Kestrel VFS. Yeah, and we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that Kestrel in a minute. One thing you touched on, Jose, that, that I want to let people know about is especially with all the high, I'm going to a bunch of, um, I'm going to good number of places this year where I'm talking with fishing clubs and high school and collegiate anglers. And I'm I'm proud to be able to show off those Cast King reels where kids are not spending two and three and four hundred dollars to get into fishing. Ridiculous. I understand we have reels in that price range and we both use them, but there are plenty of reels in that sixty to one hundred twenty dollar range that I would be that I use myself on the show that I use traveling throughout the country that I would be proud to say to somebody, hey, listen, you don't need a three hundred dollar reel. You're nineteen, twenty two to twenty two years old. You know what you need. You need to get yourself a good reel that you can rely on. That's not going to break the bank. We want you to have fun. We don't care what you fish with. We care that you fish. And since we can give you affordable products that actually are top of the line of innovation for a lower cost. They're going to be fishing more and worrying about spending that money less. And and Casking has always been great about that with everything that they're coming out with. You look at the tackle boxes, you look at the tackle bags, you look at all the incredible tools that Casking had. There are people just chiming on here like crazy tonight. Um, but there's a lot of there's a lot of great stuff. And I've always been it's so fun when somebody says, Well, do you have a reel for that? Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. And the coolest thing that it's been for me over the last couple of years is I'm very technical with everything I do. I like knowing how everything works and I've actually matched reels because of their gear ratios better for me, depending on the techniques that I use. And there's very few companies out there that offer that many changes in gear ratios where you can actually look at the product line and go, yeah, I, you, I'm going to tell a quick story. Now we're going to get into the Kestrel. Uh, but when Jose and I first met and for all of you, Goodness, clicking on here like crazy. Thank you all. God bless you all for coming on tonight. You're, you're nuts. I love you. Um, is that I came specifically into the booth because I saw that there was an ad out there for a spinning reel that was 7 4 to 1, and that's a Speed Demon Elite. And I love throwing a jerk bait on a spinning rod. It's 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 just my, but the average reel in the market at that time was 5 2 to 1 or 5 3 to 1. That's a lot of work you got to do. Jose showed me that 7 2 to 1, and I'll never forget what he said. He's like, well, we can get you one. I go, no, I'm buying it. And I went home and I bought two. And I called him like a month or two later and go, this is absolutely without question one of the best spinning reels I've ever say I, I've ever used. And I still now I've got three of them. I I absolutely love that reel because now I've incorporated in into wacky worm fishing when I'm skipping underneath docks. I've actually built two rods specifically to match my Speed Demon Elite spinning reels for exactly the purposes that I want because they work so well. And when you guys came out with this Kestrel, that um. We got more people on, on here. So, Matt, there's another one. Hi, Matt. How you doing, man? What's up, Matt? Uh, um, when that Kestrel came out, it was so incredible, the Baycast version of it and the spinning reel. For anybody who's been living under a rock, talk to them a little bit about that Baycast reel. Because if I if I remember right, I'm trying to think. It is. That reel weighs 4.4 ounces. I've used it to catch stripers up to 12 pounds with over 13 pounds of drag pressure on her. Tell them about that reel and why this is so unique to casking. So the, when we talk about finesse fishing, that's normally what people talk about is a sh small spinning reel. Well, overseas in, uh, in Japan, they started to develop a system called bait finesse systems, BFS. And it was largely used in streams up in the mountains, you know, fishing for trout, and things of that nature. And it was taking everything, like you said, with the spinning reels, right? They're usually a six, four, six, four to one at the absolute fastest, five, four to one, a six, six in that, in that range. But a lot of guys like myself, I think I would fall out of a boat 
if someone just out of nowhere handed me a spinning rail. So <laughs> they gave them, a, now you have the power, control, and speed of a bait caster, but it's made to throw those light lures. And of course, us being here in the American market, yes, of course, BFS still has its core in the mountain streams, trout fishing, but now it has made, took, take, uh, took over to the bass fishing industry. And that's where Casking said, you know what, we can take it and we can run with it and we can really focus on BFS. And yes, we were the first ones to come out with this 4.4 four, uh, ounce magnesium framed reel, magnesium frame carbon fiber side plates, the fly out arc finesse. I mean, it's an absolute beautiful reel. I remember, uh, Jim, I remember your reaction when I put it in your hand. You were like, this is amazing. This is so light. What the heck is going on? I mean, it's an absolute monster of a reel. But now just think about it. Like you said, you could, you could drop shot, wacky, mm -hmm. finesse tube. I'm talking about finesse tube, 132nd ounce tubes, getting out there, getting on those fish, uh, whether the bite's tough or whether you're doing a di different style of fishing. Now you have, like I said, the speed, power, and accuracy of a bait caster right in the palm yep. of your hands. And you're able to do stuff that you would never th think was even possible with a bait caster, really targeting those, those fish, especially on those highly pressured lakes or in uh, inclement weather. You know, you've got 13, a little over 13 pounds of drag pressure in there. Um, it's an eight, four to one gear ratio, if I'm not mistaken, right? Four eight, four to one. So that, that is 29, little over 29 inches of line IPT I, per turn of that handle. One of my favorite things to throw on that reel is when I'm skipping or not skipping, but I'm pitching small finesse jigs and small finesse jigs can be really, really, well, the farther we go into Wisconsin and Minnesota and the clearer some of the water gets, there are certain times of the year where I'm pitching little one eighth ounce jigs with like a little paddle tail uh, trailer on the back or whatever you want to put in the back of it up to boat docks and you're catching both large mouth and small mouth. And it, it's, not, it's okay on a spinning rod. The problem is, I'm reasonably accurate with the spinning reel, but this made it better since it goes down to a 132nd ounce. I actually built a rod, the same rod that I would use for a bladed jig. So it's got a it's got a parabolic action in it. I put the kestrel on it, and now I'm pitching 1 16th ounce finesse jigs 30 feet away to the side of a boat dock that I couldn't really do that real accurately before with the spinning rod. Uh, and I'll usually load it with 10 pound braid. Then I'll do either an eight or 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. When I'm fishing hybrid stripers, I'll put a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader on there and throw a jerk bait on it. It's because I can throw it a country mile and still feel like you have the power of a bait caster. And I, I, I've, I caught a lot of big stripers on that reel last year, throwing, throwing a jerk bait on, on a couple different times that we went out, but it's absolutely a phenomenal reel. And the thing is without question, anybody who's tried that Kestrel, you can echo that on here. It is without question one of the finest casting reels I've ever had in my hands. And I know you you fish that reel quite a bit. And I know you feel the same way, don't you? I fished the living crap out of it. <laughs> but like you said, you designed a rod specifically for that. Because that's what BFS truly is. It's an entire system, right? You have the rods, the reels, the line. So, you know, we even came out with our Kestrel rods that are American Tackle, mm -hmm. uh, American Tackle Guides, American Tackle right. Realty, IM8, you know, and, and at $89, you are not going to find uh, a BFS rod that has the American style split uh, beautiful. grips on it, carbon fiber, uh, a beautiful $89, absolutely blows it, blows everything. And it's a, once you get that full system together and you have a full understanding, I mean, I, it's hard for me to put down. All right. And even when I just kind of go out and go do a little pond hopping, maybe take my kids out and, you know, so I'm going to focus on them yep. and I'll just bring this out. I mean, it has literally made fishing an absolute blast when I need it to be, but at the same time, get that bite, you know, when times are tough. Sure. Great question here. Devin Carver, I can, uh, Jim, what finesse jigs do you like? Haven't found money for sale and would like to pick up some eighth ounce and under finesse jig. Devin, I build my own. Okay, and I build them at Lure Parts Online, and there's a little eighth ounce ball head, uh, eighth ounce and sixteen ounce ball head. Um, if you email me uh, sometime or even message me on Facebook, I will get you the part numbers and I will show you everything. Because what I do is I do something a little bit different. I take a full size jig skirt, put it on there, and then cut it down so it puffs out when it falls. It's it, it's 
it's really effective. Um, and I'll show you the exact jig. I'll get your part number. As a matter of fact, before we leave tonight, please stay till the end of the show because I'm going to give you discount codes for not only Cast King but Lure Parts Online as well. So that way, if you decide that you ever want to get anything, um, that way you can save a little bit of money on that. So, but yeah, the the jigs I use are usually eighth, most of the time eighth. Uh, but it's got a really good strong hook on it and a great ball head. It's it's just a really good jig. So email me, please, or message me on Facebook. My my email is jim at jimcarlyoutdoors.com. I'll give you the whole list, part numbers and everything, and then you can look for yourself, okay? So thanks for thanks for that question. Everybody else, AJ is just having a time tonight. He is just... <laughs> And what AJ is on, and by the way, if none of you have seen um, Give It Away AJ on his show on Tuesday nights, uh, it's fun, it's informative, and he's always giving stuff away. I just had to give stuff away to compete just with, just because he's always giving stuff away and love the show, and AJ does a great job uh, for us as well. Um, what we're going to do, I want to talk a little bit about the – the Kestrel spinning reel a little bit too, because this is one that I really used a lot last year. And this is what we would probably consider F or SFF or spinning finesse systems. Right now, Jose did, I'm, I'm guessing that probably just branched off from, from the regular, uh, from the regular finesse systems over there. Or did, was this something that casking added in? Oh, no, no. So that's definitely something that branched off that we, capitalized on but it's kind of the the same basic thing and yeah it's a 1000 so it's got i mean i wouldn't say a larger body on it but it's got a very very shallow spool on it mm -hmm. uh, and that spool is I'm sorry that spool is phenomenal i mean it's only 4.6 ounces carbon yep. fiber body and rotor it is an absolute an absolute beast and it, actually that spool like i talk about it, there's an extra kind of lip on it mm -hmm. and that is our patented spool design. So that allows that line to come off super smooth. And it's just funny how adding one little, little like feature. A, like a step up. That's what like it is. A, it's a step like up on a, a reel. Step. So that allows it to fly off. So you're able to, um, you know, six pound braid, yep. you know, stuff like that. Four pound uh, tripolymer. I mean, I'm talking about that stuff is able to fling that small thing. So if you ice fishing or maybe something uh, you want to crappie, Mm -hmm. Real or any type of panfish, and you want you don't want to go towards maybe a bait caster, then that 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 Kestrel SFS is a phenomenal reel. We did, a matter of fact, I just put a, a video out on Instagram and it goes out on TikTok tomorrow, uh, where I landed like close to a six pound largemouth on on that little spinning reel. We were crappie fishing, we were shooting a crappie show, and it was throwing one sixteenth ounce hair jigs on that little reel. And we ended up catching some big bass because the big bass were back in the areas where the crappies were getting ready to spawn. And that little reel, I've also added it to my Ned rig rod. And I've also added it to uh, my hover jig rod because I'm throwing um, that little hover jig. I'm throwing in like one sixteenth and one thirty second ounce for really light baits. It is a killer for smallmouth. And that little reel, just so you guys know, you have... A six two to one gear ratio on there. I think it's a little over twenty nine inches of line per turn on that little handle of that reel. You gain ground quickly. This also has it's at twenty eight point four. I twenty okay yeah twenty eight point four. You also have ten plus one ball bearings in there. And just so if any of you are new to casking, you don't know what the plus one is. There's always one ball bearing designated to the instant and a reverse. So you will always know what that plus one means in casking. That's why all the casking reels, in my opinion, have a rock solid ante reverse is because at least there's a ball bearing designated to that and that has been you're looking at this little reel right here for any of you guys on here that are, are pan fishermen that fish for walleyes that fish for smallmouth that fish for largemouth like when wanting a finesse reel all that is perfect for that little reel it's in a phenomenal gear system on there as you said a great drag system on there and i think we're and we've got, even got more people um, yeah, Jose said, Jose with the facts, yo, yeah, we, hey, that's all we deal in here is facts. So that's, that's just it. We just deal in facts. Um, but it's a great little reel. Now I know you don't throw a Ned rig or at least I've seen 40 <laughs> videos of yours that you don't throw a Ned rig, but as effective as that is, this has been a deadly little reel for me for throwing that Ned rig because it's so powerful and it feels like you've got nothing in your hands all day. 
So I, I do throw a dead rig. I throw it quite often, right? It's just, it's so easy to make fun of. And it's not a style of fishing a lot of people should like to do. Like even with myself, if I throw a Ned rig, it's normally on an EWG, right? Because a Ned rig will get hung up on freaking everything, right? <laughs> but I'll tell you a different way that I throw it with the BFS. I throw a micro Texas rig. Okay. So maybe a one aught or a two aught finesse hook mm -hmm. with a one thirty second tungsten weight. Now you have you a go. micro Texas rig. I pair that up with the Kestrel rod, the lightweight. Uh, that's a three piece rod. And it's able to really sling that out there. And that is another presentation that we are talking about that is just, you know, the fish don't see it. They're not used to it. It's not overdone. And it will get, you won't get hung up. And at the same time, you've got that power of the rod and you've got the speed and, and the control of the bait caster to really horse that fish in versus kind of standing there with the spinner rod. And you're, you know, to a certain extent, you're, you're kind of fighting against the fish, not fighting with the fish, if that, that makes sense, if that makes sense. Yeah, it, it, it does. And, you know, I, one of the questions I got asked this past weekend and, and get asked a lot is, well, what ha what would you do if you're not getting bit and you think there's fish in the area? What what are you going to do? The first, my stock answer to everybody is when possible, downsize. And it, it just works. I, I mean, it just works. And when I go downsides, I'll give you guys all an example. So if I'm throwing an eighth or if I'm throwing a, a 332nd, or excuse me, if I'm throwing an eighth or a 16th, I might go down to a 332nd or a smaller, especially when it comes to throwing a Ned rig. I've, I've actually been in a boat before with Troy Linder when we were fishing. I had an eighth ounce Ned rig and he had one on a 332nd ounce jig head. He had six pound line. I had eight. He was out fishing me three to one. I dropped down a six pound line in that jig head. That bait had to just go so slow, but we started catching big small mouth together. And sometimes if going to smaller crankbaits, going to smaller top waters, going down what Jose was saying, perfect example, you can take any, any wacky worm style, any stick bait that you want and drop down to a three inch size, put a little one O hook in it. And just what Jose said, a one sixteenth ounce weight on there. Just remember something folks, when you have water clarity that presents itself or you can get away with something light, just remember this rule, big fish always eat small fish, always. And so if you have something small, there is more intelligent fishing pressure on the water today than there ever has been. And sometimes downsizing, whether you do it with a BFS reel, whether you do it on a spinning reel, but if you just need to get bit, I guarantee you a lot of you out there work a 40 hour, 50 or 60 hour week. What difference would one more three pound bass make on your meat weekend? It'd make a lot. And if you just have to downsize just exactly what Jose was saying, you're going to catch more fish. And Jose, I think you'd agree. Oh, absolutely. You know, when we talk about downsizing, the best analogy that I ever heard was you get from a normal and then you go down to like a, a uh, fluke junior right it's like a bag of potato chips right because the fish are either actively feeding or it's a reaction bite that's it there's no ifs ands or buts about it they're either feeding or it's a reaction bite but think about yourself when you're walking past yeah you might be full you might have just ate but you see that potato chip there you might reach for that potato chip it's the same thing with bass right they're they're opportunistic predators that's so right the potato chips right there in front of them that small little morsel that easy meal they're going to get after it yeah, no, Devin just came back on here, and what did he say here? There's Chris. Hey, Chris McVeigh. Hi, nice to see you, Chris. What's up, Chris? Um, Devin just came on here, and he said, yeah, caught a 417 largemouth a couple days ago on a small jerkbait. Doesn't surprise me a bit. Doesn't surprise yeah. me a bit. I, um, you, you know big on that, Jim, is those, those uh, smaller jerkbaits, and that's, that's a phenomenal oh. thing. So the Kestrel BFS is a great jerkbait, but sometimes a lot of people say, well, I wish you had a bigger spool on it, you know, and that's when you would get the MG12. The MG12 is a 7.5 to 1. It's uh, the same frame, same size, a little bit heavier, but it, it does everything like that. It has the AMD braking system, that, the same that you see in the Mega Jaws Elite. But that is, and this is from uh, an MLF pro that you've had on here, James Elam, from his yep. own mouth. He told me last time I went to the same, he said, this is the best jerkbait reel I have ever used in my life. And if you guys want to worry about not being a bigger spool, I load it with 10 pound braid. I load it with 10 pound suffix and then go down to an eight or 10 pound leader. I, I got plenty of line. 
I've got plenty of life and such an incredible drag system on this. I want you guys to remember this. Just remember this. And I'm going to read something off here just so I get this right. But I want you guys to get these facts because this may come into play later in the show. All right. So pay attention to this. The Kestrel has an 8, 4 to 1 gear ratio on here. It weighs 4.4 ounces and it's got over 13 pounds of drag. You're going to need to remember some of that. Okay. Jose, would you be okay with that? You know where I'm going. You know exactly where you're going with that and 100%. All right. 100%. So remember this. We're going to say this one more time. The Kestrel weighs 4.4 ounces. It's got an 8, 4 to, it's got, um, it's got 13 pounds of drag, 8, 4 to 1 gear ratio. Remember that. Is we're going to take a little bit of a break right here. And when we come back, we're going to have a question to ask you before we get into more. So we'll be back two and two. Remember, go to castking.com if you have to. <clears throat> See you in a bit. Located in Springfield, Illinois' largest selection of sports and sportswear, hunting, fishing, specialty shops and services, a 65-foot Ferris wheel, 16,000-gallon saltwater aquarium, and industry-leading knowledgeable employees, you don't take chances at Shields ever. Go to Shields.com. At Lure Parts Online, we have everything you need to make your own lures, pour soft plastics, tie your own flies, build your own rods, and more. Easy ordering ensures you get your products quickly. You can build it all with Lure Parts Online. Achieving affordable innovation through novel concepts and in-house ingenious designs. Casking cost-effective e-commerce practices directly market to consumers, cutting costs by 30% or more on average. Affordable innovation, superior quality. Casking.com. Mudhole is your number one resource for custom fishing rods. Mudhole is the world's largest supplier of rod building, tackle crafting supplies, and instruction. They have the best components and brands you trust. American Tackle, MHX, CRB, Pro Products, Fuji, REC, AFCO, Winthrop, and more. It's easy to build your next custom fishing rod at Mudhole.com. Believe in quality is measured by lifespan and harnessing their unique chemistry and engineering know-how. Dakota Lithium lasts four times longer, powering your passion with an 11-year warranty. Find out more at dakotalithium.com. There we go. Come here. Get in here. Yeah. Nice fish right there. Hi, I'm Jim Crowley. Make sure you catch my show, Jim Crowley Outdoors, Monday to Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, exclusively on Wired to Fish TV. Look for Jim Crowley Outdoors on Wired to Fish TV on free, ad-supported streaming TV, including Plex, that can be downloaded in the App Store at Apple TV, Roku, Samsung, and others. We are back with Cast King's Jose Cinco. Look at this. Here we go. Uh, Gary just came on. Mating my MG12 on a Speed Demon Pro jerk bay rod with tripolymer. I would say that's pretty good. And Jay from Missouri, I just got some megabytes and two now. Looking forward to throwing that smaller profile jerk bait, and I'm sure you will do fine. So we promised you, and we promised you that we're going to ask you a question. And so we're going to be giving away. Jose, what are we giving away tonight? What can the crowd expect? We are going to give away. I mean, I, I don't know. I think maybe Cass King has only done this once or twice ever, but we are actually going to give away the reel that we have been talking about. We're going to give away the Kestrel Elite BFS. Now, right or left handed, whatever you want. I mean, magnesium frame. We want this to go into the hands of someone that is going to use the <laughs> heck out of it. No, we really know what is. Yes, yes. I mean, normally, right? You normally you give away what do you give away? You give one maybe a mid range, maybe an entry level reel. But no, Cast King, we we're blessed. Uh, we're blessed to have Jim Crowley on the team, and we appreciate him and all and his whole audience. So, hey, it's time to pay it forward, and we want to give this. And this is a you know, this is a two hundred dollar reel. Yeah, two hundred dollar real, one ninety nine, yeah. is what this cost. So. And if you don't win, don't cry. I'm gonna give a twenty percent discount code at the end of the show if you guys want to get one. But here's <laughs> AJ. Here's AJ. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, I don't even think AJ's gave out one of these, Jim. Oh, finally, I beat him. It's up. I, I, I don't know if he's giving away one of these. 
That's awesome. And Lee Kerr, Lee, Lee has uh, become a big cast, uh, casking fan. An awesome. absolutely incredible gentleman right there. Him and his company do so much for high school fishing. Lee, so, uh, so glad to have you in the audience. Just, just a great, great guy. Um, so let's ask this question. I mentioned several things about the Kestro BFS casting reel. You tell me at least two of those things that I mentioned. I'll give you a little bit here. If somebody can give me two of those things I mentioned, we're going to give away that Kestrel. Okay? Uh, 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 whoa. Bam. Boom. Not AJ. Jay, Jay Beffa came in first. Jay Beffa. 4.4 ounce, 13 pound drag, A4. Jay, you win. That's going to Missouri, baby. The Kestrel's going to Missouri. Jose, you good with that? I'm absolutely good with that, Jay. Uh, DM Jim, your information. He'll yep. forward that to me. And I'll get that out to you. Uh, let, right or left, let us know. Right or left. Yeah, Jay, let us know. Right or left, Jay, you know how to get a hold of me. You can just just message me on Facebook, and I'll get that in, info. And look at all you guys. <laughs> AJ goes, can I play? No, no, you can't. absolutely not. Yeah, absolutely not. You're just Gary, cool. Robbie. Everybody came in. Jay was just quicker on the thing. Thank you, everybody, for doing that. Well, maybe we'll do that. We'll we'll definitely give away a casking thing or two the rest of this season. Um, and but this is a this is cool because this is the biggest giveaway that'll be seen on Wired to Fish TV. So when you guys Woo! have missed this here, cool. this will definitely be uh, on season one of Slickfish Radio on Wired to Fish TV, probably in a couple of weeks. Um, and we'll tell you a little bit more uh, about that at the end of the show. But thank you everybody for playing on. You guys are just lighting this freaking board <laughs> up tonight. I love you. I've always said the audience is growing. We don't have the biggest audience, but man, they are loyal. We give them great information, and these people can fish flat out. They can fish, man, and I'm I'm just so glad to have all of them uh, on here tonight. And you guys are showing up in full force like you always do. Um, one of the thing, and thank you again, everybody, for that. Um, one of the things I want to talk to you about, Jose, is there's been some really cool products that have come out this year. I want to talk a little bit about those tackle boxes because those those new hyper seal tackle boxes are phenomenal. I've been showing them off at the shows and, and people can't believe I've actually had a couple guys come to me in Milwaukee and go, uh, I've got to get these. And I'm like, dude, they did a video where a kid made a skateboard out of this thing. That's how strong these things are. But I've thrown them in the water. I have tossed them in the water. We actually did a video this year where I tried to flood the sink with the thing in there. Not a drop of water inside. They are waterproof. They have a desiccant inside each each one of the tackle boxes. So it would absorb moisture so your lures won't. So all my jigs, all the terminal tackle like that are now in these boxes because they're phenomenal. I'm sure you guys have been seeing a good return on these. What have what has been the response from uh, from casking fans. So, you know, initially we're not the first to come out with a durable waterproof box, right. but they were $40 each, you know? Um, I remember even when we came out with these, someone said, Hey, can you do a quick comparison? And I told them straight out, I was like, I don't have the other ones because I couldn't bring myself to spend $40 on them, but they're secure and they're, they're easy to open and close. You can do it with one hand. And another big thing, we see besides the uh, the other boxes that came out, these actually will fit into every tackle tray, even the ones on your low boats and your uh, the deep V hole ones. They didn't fit into the tackle trays in your uh, tackle storage. So these fit into every single tackle tray storage that will hold a thirty six hundred or a thirty seven hundred. But the response has been amazing. They're fully customizable, built like like you said, built like a tank. I mean the guys skateboarding on them and you know <laughs> it's, it's they're just so innovative they're so amazing and still you know at like 15.99 a pop or even mm -hmm. less if you buy the three pack just absolutely unbeatable yeah it's been i've and i've got both the 36 and 3700 sizes and it's so much nicer because you can see everything in there every box comes with its own label so you can label everything i'm i'm extremely organized on my almost to a fault sometimes on my fishing gear and it's still you'll see on the shows later this this season um, about how everything gets so nicely organized because of both these boxes. I know I open up my rod locker, open up my tackle locker. I can easily pick in and see what I want. And that makes it a lot nicer. It's all about saving time. And honestly, it's just about being better organized. And, and one, it's safer when you're better organized. And two, it's easier for people to find stuff 
uh, when, when you do it that way. And it, these boxes just make it really, really easy for that. We have, um, oh, again, Wong just came on. He said, I love mine. They're indestructible. Um, Gen fish is both freshwater and saltwater. So, awesome. I mean, he's, he's going to know. Um, Devin came back on again. I use my 3,600 for terminal tackle and 3,700 for lures. Yeah, exactly. I even took my 3,600 and I throw very few colors in specific three eighths and half ounce jig sizes. So mm -hmm. what I did is I just made my 3,600 for both. And I've got, you know, 50 jigs in one and 50 in another, but I can get to it easy. I know exactly where that size is. And I have a box for each of them and I know what I put them back in there. I don't have to worry about my jigs rusting. I throw a jig quite a bit and I don't have to worry about it. So it's pretty cool. Um, before we go, though, Jose, I do want to talk about something else that is very near and dear to your heart. Um, and that is a veterans organization that you're working with. I've been seeing more posts out there. And I do think it's important that that you tell people about that because there's some pretty cool stuff happening with that. So lay it on them. Absolutely. So Warriors for Freedom is a non veteran nonprofit organization here in Oklahoma. As you can see my flag behind me, I am retired army myself. In fact, the day that I signed out of my unit, I went to a Warriors for Freedom event. I normally don't go to a lot of veteran charity events. It's just was never really my thing, but it was fishing, right? They invited me out to go fishing. And now I actually help run that event. We take 50 veterans. This is just one. We actually do scuba hunting, a little bit of everything, golf, shooting. Uh, but we take 50 veterans every year. We house them, pay for their food. Uh, and then we match them up with 50 boaters. And those 50 boaters, we'll take them out. We all actually will have a tournament out on you follow Lake here in Oklahoma. Cast King is the title sponsor of that. Last year, Cast King provided us 25 tackle wow. bags, the tackle backpacks. Uh, we all they also gave me to, to hand out to over 60 rods and reels. So every veteran there left with a Cast King rod and reel. If it was your first time at the event and you got one of those uh, beautiful tackle backpacks. And that isn't just an organization that is near and dear to my heart. A lot of times you see, you see a lot of organizations and sometimes you think, who do they actually help? I am telling you right now that Warriors for Freedom personally helped me and my family. I was in a very dark spot. I was trying to get help through the VA. Of course, you know, everybody has mixed feelings of what the VA does to their veterans, this and that, but they were actually able to get me on the phone with somebody the same day. So to turn that around, I have dedicated myself to doing as much as I can for this organization to help spread it, also to share my own testimony. And it's an absolute blessing to be part of Cast King, to work for Cast King, and they fully back everything I do for that. So if you can check them out uh, on social media, uh, Warriors for Freedom, or check out the website, whether it's $22 to stand up for the 22 veterans that commit suicide a day, or whether it's $5. Uh, just check them out, donate if you can, but I have to, I feel that that's what I need to do. You know, some, I used to be money focused or uh, title focused, but what I've found and what God has blessed, blessed me with is what makes me happy is helping, is volunteering and giving my time. So I have dedicated myself. Now I'm on the board of directors for this organization. And this is a, just something that is near and dear to me. So it's, 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 it's a straight blessing to also be with Casking who believes in that and supports this mission. So if you guys can check them out, definitely. Yeah, I think that I think that's absolutely awesome. And I'm going to say this live in front of anybody. You didn't know this was coming. Every year I donate. Um, every year I, I take my jersey that is made. I have a one of a kind jersey made every year. I've been doing that for years with Valley Fashions. And um, this past year we donated all the money that was raised by selling that jersey uh, to autism anglers. And this coming year with this jersey, this is a one of a kind jersey. This was the first one with the new Prime One camo stream pattern on it. I'm telling you right now, Jose, I am going to um, raise money with this vest or jersey at the end of the year, and the money will go toward your organization. Thank you, brother. I really so, appreciate that. It means a lot. So when you guys see that jersey out there this year, it's very, very cool. Um, there's just one jersey and one shirt that's exactly like that. It was the first one to come out with the new pattern. When you see it out there this year, just remember at the end of the season, we'll do a video like I do every year, um, and we will do um, we we will raise that money uh, for Warriors for Freedom there and and do that. So I I just I 
autism anglers has always been one of the things that I've always done because I do such a great job with those kids. And I think this is a great, a great way to give back to something too, that you're doing a lot of good for. So every little bit helps. So that's what we're going to do um, with that. Now, fun stuff. Um, tell them where they can find some of your crazy, insane, uh, got to screw loose social media stuff, uh, that we can all enjoy and have fun with. Uh, you know, uh, of course, before you follow me, make sure you're following casking. That's the more important <laughs> stuff, right? The stuff that I do is not associated with casking. Those right. are my own opinions and jokes, but bait and bougie on Facebook. Right. I don't post too much on TikTok. I just wasn't gaining traction like I gained traction on Instagram. Yeah. So mainly my posts are on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm the busiest on Instagram, but I need to, right? You can't, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So I need to start posting more on TikTok. And, uh, but mainly Instagram and Facebook is where my stuff is at. Well, I'm telling you right now, dude, if I can do TikTok, coward, you better get back. <laughs> I've do it. Because if I can do TikTok, dude, I'm just telling you right now, I, I know you can. And our, our TikTok page is actually starting to grow pretty good. We're, and we're, I'm exactly the opposite. It's, we're, we're starting to get some traction on Instagram. But TikTok is is, is picking up and uh, just for the last month of being on there and some really, really fun videos on there. And I still do the same thing. We're putting out good information. Um, we're putting out some fun stuff out there uh, that you can all that you can all enjoy. But yeah, like Jose said, you want to find out anything more about casking and stay tuned to the end of the show. I've got so many people. Um, Jose's killing it on Instagram. Yeah, that's what I said. And Robbie Byrne is on here and he said, I hope you fix your, uh, I hope you fix your calling system, buddy, or whatever he said. I don't know what that is, but okay. And Savannah said, she said, I got the first bid on your jersey. Well, okay, good. I'm going to hold you to that. Okay, so that that is great. Um, but yeah, if, so stay tuned to the end of the show, everybody. Because I'm going to give you discount codes for Cast King um, as well, like we do on every show, because they're such an awesome part of everything that we do with Jim Crowley Outdoors. And I'm so thankful to be part of a team. And it is a team. It's it's a wonderful group of people to work with. Um, we take what we do very, very seriously. And we have a lot of fun at it. And you can do both. And guess uh, what? We all fish. Yeah. You've been in this industry a long time. Do you know an entire U.S. marketing team where we all actually fish and understand fishing? There might be. Oh, no, actually, there's not. I just thought of one. And I'm like, no, one doesn't fish there. So, <laughs> yeah, I would say, yeah, yeah, I would say, yeah. And it, the fun thing is we can all talk fishing and it's really fun. And if you have a chance to go see Casking at a consumer show, uh, and I think uh, not, I don't think you're going to be the classic this year, but I think you're going to be a Red Crest or what's going on? No, we won't be at the Red Crest or classic now. I'll okay. still be working. Uh, we're going to be working with one of our retail partners for okay. both. So whoever our retail partner is, if you want to come up at the Classic, I'll definitely be at the Classic. Come up, talk to me. You know, I'll show you right there, and you're, you'll be able to purchase the stuff. But, of course, we'll be at iCast. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be working with our retail partners at Red Crest and the Classic this year. Next year, we'll come back bigger, stronger, but we're partnering with our retail partners for this year. Uh, let me see. Jay Beffa just said, will they be in East Tennessee this weekend? I don't think so. Will no. You? No. No. Not on that one, Jay. But, um but thanks for asking anyway. But yeah, so make sure you go check and make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the show. We're going to put up uh, those discounts. Is there any, that <laughs> sounds funny. Is there any last words? <laughs> do, you have, <laughs> do, you have, do you have anything else you want to throw in there that people should know? Anything new coming that we can know about now or not quite yet? So there's a lot of new stuff coming in, right? We're going to be coming out with a new rod and reel. It's going to be our pro. So it's going to still be part of that month, uh, master class. Mm -hmm. But a lot of companies are scaling down. They're mm -hmm. scaling down. They're taking a step back because across the board, companies are down 7 to 12, 15 percent or they're getting mm -hmm. bought out. They're getting right. bought out by these larger organizations. Casking is actually ramping it up this year. <laughs> 75 new products are being released this year. 75. So wow. while other people are hitting the brakes. Hey, we're all gas. No brakes here at Casking. And we are independent. We won't be bought out. And uh, yeah, but we're coming for it. We're we're. Uh, a lot of people used to think we were a joke. Now we're becoming a problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I've, uh, we won't say anything, but you and I have seen that at a show uh, together where people want to see what we're doing and why the industry is turning on its heels over Cast King and with all the people coming in the booth and so much, it's so much fun because I think we're, you know, I've been, I've been in this industry, this will be 31 years. And one of the things I really like about casking is we are getting back to fishing. I don't think casking ever left. 
but we are getting back and concentrating on the individuals because if you look at it, that only 1% of 1% of people who fish are actually tournament pros. The rest are the general public and people who just love to fish when they can. And that's what casking, even though we have a great team, that's what casking concentrates on is they want to give the best quality opponents or excuse me, the best quality products uh, to the people who love the fish. We love to make them. We love to provide them. And you all love the fish. It's a great, perfect match. Yes. Jose, my friend, thank you so much for taking your time again. Always good to see you, buddy. Yeah, and, appreciate uh, you, brother. And uh, had a lot of fun. Thanks for that. I'll get that information from Jay to you, and you can send him his brand new Kestrel, mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to enjoy the heck out of that. So as I always tell you, whenever, or God bless you and your family. Thank you, brother. Um, I, I appreciate you being on. I appreciate us being friends, and I will talk to you soon. All right. See you, brother. One of my favorites in the industry, and we've just known each other a couple of years, and he's he's uh, he's a good guy to know, a wealth of information. Um, what I really like bringing on the show is people who know their product line well. So all of you take your time to watch the show, get good quality information. And tonight was no exception. Uh, you found out about a lot of things and you found out why the products are so good. And with that being said, we're going to give you we're going to give you some discount codes. I promised you Cast Kings. Here it is right here. If you go on the Cast Kings site anytime, anytime for anything at all, Cast King, rods, reels, tackle, whatever you want, anything that's on the Cast King site, put in a code JC52AFF. You will get 20% off anything and everything on the Cast King site. What Cast King has done, basically, is we're telling you, you don't have to pay retail again. You go on Cast King, that's your code right there. You'll get 20% off. Our friends over at Dakota Lithium. So much new stuff coming out from Dakota Lithium as well. New power boxes, new sizes of batteries, everything. You put in that code SLICKFISH10 right there, you'll get 10% off every anything at Dakota Lithium. So if you're looking for a battery, I'm thrilled with mine. My new boat is going to have, I think, four of them in there. Uh, and I've been thrilled. Power, power, and more power. That is Dakota Lithium. So make sure you go to Dakota Lithium. And you put in that code SLICKFISH10 and you'll get 10% off. Now, for those of you who've been asking about it, uh, Lure Parts. Make sure you go to Lure Parts. If you place an order, and Devin, I think if you're still watching and you want to get those jigs, make sure you use this code, JC Outdoors 10 Okay, JC Outdoors 10 That will get you 10% off your first order. And just so you know, lots of new stuff. We have a new plastics line that we've been working on for the last year. You saw some of it. You heard me talk about some of it, which... Um, but we're coming out. It's going to be in full force this spring. There's a lot of new stuff uh, coming to it. And you guys are really going to enjoy it. And we'll show it a lot on this show. Uh, you'll also be seeing social media on it from me. And and it, they're actually in the shows this year. The plastics are awesome. They're loaded with crunch. We have some new shapes. We have some new things that we've been working on. And you guys are going to be able to see that as well. We've got a couple more comments coming in. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, Milton said, JC52AFF. Devin, you are correct. That is it right there. Great. Uh, what's the cast King code again, Milton? I hope you saw that JC 52 AFF. You can see it, uh, right, right there, I think is exactly what Devin said. So there you go. Um, right there. So also, so you guys know, uh, I said, we are building up our YouTube page again. So there are now you'll, you'll see lure building on there, rod building on there. You'll see a lot of our shorts on there as well. Uh, but the lure building and rod building is pretty cool. If you haven't subscribed to Jim Crowley Out Outdoors, please do so. That page is growing. We're going to have a whole new set of videos going up uh, from our season on Wired to Fish TV this year. Also, Wired to Fish TV is also now on Sling. So any of you who have Sling, look for Wired to Fish TV on Sling. My show is on five days a week, Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. That's Jim Crowley Outdoors. Uh, Slickfish Radio is also on there as well. So I've got two shows on Wired to Fish TV now. Saturdays and Sundays, I do hour blocks of the show. So if you have Sling, if you have Plex and about eight or nine other streaming stations, you should be able to find Wired to Fish TV. It's 24-7, nothing but fishing. And you'll see both my shows on there. We have another uh, comment on there. Uh, Chris, you said, oh, I did not know that. Awesome. Well, you're welcome, Chris. There you go. Uh, also, uh, we are on TikTok. Any of you got your phone with you? Get this QR code. 
boom, follow me on TikTok because the videos we're putting out there now and on Instagram are better than we've ever put out before. You're going to see some really, really cool stuff. Please go follow me on TikTok. Once we get to a thousand on TikTok, we're going to be able to go live on there as well. And I've got some really cool stuff that we're going to do once we get to that point. So please follow me on TikTok as well as YouTube, Facebook, obviously, you know, we're on and Instagram as well. So I uh, got a couple more comments coming in here. Robbie Burns said, sweet. Thank you, Robbie, for that. So with uh, that being said, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to leave the, uh, let me put the other code up there for a second here for you guys. So there is a casking code up there again, if you guys want it, JC52AFF, and we'll throw Dakota Lithiums up there one more time, Slick Fish 10. So there you know, now you got them right there. And we're going to give those out on every show. Those are your codes for being so good and watching us. Those are your codes. So if you're going to watch us for close to an hour, hey, you should get some money off of something, right? So, hey, anybody from Wisconsin, looking forward to seeing you in Green Bay this weekend. We are bringing it. It's going to be fun. Pumped up seminars. I got a lot of cool stuff to talk to you about. If you haven't been to one of my seminars before, we're going to be putting a list on social media. Where else? Next week, uh, this week, I'll be in Green Bay. Next week, I will be in Chicago. Uh, St. Charles for the All Canada Show and more coming. Thank you as always for your kind comments, your kind emails. Thank you for joining us and watching us on the show. As I always say, I wouldn't have a show without you. It's because of you. And I thank you so much for it. God bless you. We'll see you soon.